they call me. All right, hey, let's play. Welcome back to more Yakuza Zero with your boy Hero. They call me. Uh, last episode, a whole bunch of shit happened. You know, it was like an hour and a half video. I'm actually playing this a day later, and we gotta go uh, meet our boy and uh, head up to uh, meet the big boys. Eh, I think that's what's going on. If I recall correctly. Bro, just because you say you want out doesn't mean Kuze is gonna just let you go. Who knows what's going to happen in there? Just be ready. Uh, yeah, let's go. I have to fight my way out? I am. Let's go. Alright. Let's do it. Alright. Get in. I just like how he's just gonna drive me now. He was so pissed off about it before. But now he's like, yeah, whatever. I'll drive your ass, dummy. So 7.38 p.m. As I said, I left off in pretty much like a cliffhanger. So we'll see how this uh, turns out for me. <laughs> Probably not good, I'd imagine. The Sunflower Orphanage. What is he, just beating the shit out of me? Why Why not? Why can't we cause the Kazama-san? It's our lives, our future. We can decide. I do everything, but this isn't about that. And don't play the saints. You are Yakuza yourself. Consider that. Or considering that, I should say. You have no right to tell us we can't be Yakuza. You got no right! <laughs> It's my voice acting. Kiru. <laughs> we looked up to you for all this time. Your car, your confidence. That's a weird. <laughs> the car is number one. The way everyone bows to you. We idolized you. We looked up to you for so long, you know, because your car. I want that life too. Is that so wrong? I should totally go 100% and try to voice act just like he is. Is that too much? I just think that'd be cringy. Do orphans not get the dream? <laughs> what you thinking about? Oh, that time we were like, you know, lying in the rain and I was crying about things. Just spacing out. You think about that time we were lying in the rain, weren't you? Well, I was just thinking. At that time, Kazama-san beat the snot out of both of us. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> then the next day, we were Yakuza. Yeah, well, that's how it works, usually, you know? How you get into gangs, you get your ass beat first. And if I, I know you, I'm guessing you're thinking the same thing. Figures. It's scary how good you are at that, bro. Okay, so I guess technically, I'm not sure if he's my actual brother, but I guess he is my brother because of, you know, growing up in the orphanage together. But I'm not sure if we're, like, blood-related. I can't remember if it said that or not. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you know for sure. That's if anyone's watching this. <laughs> I'm having fun. I don't give a shit. I've seen this place a million times, but I never looked as scary as it does now. This is gonna stare in the window. Hey. 250 and I'll play with your butt. <laughs> Evening dance. <laughs> is the boss? Is Dojima in today? Yes, sir. He's inside. It'll just be, uh, it'll just be me from here. Sir? Please give the boss a message. Tell him Kazuma Kiri is here to end his oath. Zero song. Wait, seriously? Yeah, seriously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> That's a shiny ass chrome. Thanks, Nishki. Sorry. Now you head back. You head on back now, you hear? You really going through with this, Kiru? I have to talk to the boss. It's not like I'm a dead man just yet. I'll try to finesse it like you would. Shit. <laughs> now you really got me nervous, you fool. See you later, bro. Uh, 
I find it weird. I don't think I've ever called my brother bro or brother. I've always called him by his name. So I don't know if it's like a, a dialogue thing. They think like that's how Americans speak or there's like Japanese people actually call their siblings by brother and sister. I have no idea. <laughs> it just seems weird to me. Hey, what's up, guy? You're not the main dude I wanted to see. So, you want another family. That's why you're here, Kiru. Yep, I'm done. Yes, sir. I came to ask the boss to expel me. Please let me through to see him. Yeah, that's a shame. Saturday is at 8th bad time and his favorite show's on TV. If you got something to tell him, you'll have to tell me instead. I'm good, bro. The hell? Your pinky's still on, on your goddamn hand. You're asking to leave and you show up empty-handed? I thought he could take it himself. That's not how things work in the Yakuza, dumbass. Apparently, huh? Means dumbass? I'm here to talk to you. Where's the boss? I'm the one handling things right now, and you think that that kind of tone is going to fly with me, Junior? Just bitch slap this guy. Dude, stop sucker punch me, man. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> no picky, no cash. You should just think you could come in here and just ask to be let go? Yeah, probably. That's, that was the plan. Ow! <laughs> the Yakuza, not some after school club you can just quit when you get tired of it, you little shit. <laughs> you gotta cut off your pinky, that's the only way out. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal. It probably hurt a lot. Come on, use your head here, Kiru. It's not too late to put this all behind us. Pump Captain Kazama for that info on the empty lot. That's the only way we can come out of this alive. Well, I guess I'm gonna die then, bro. Man, please see the boss now. Ugh, I came here to get expelled. <laughs> so that's a no then. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Here comes another punch. Block it. Counterattack. Now we're done here. I got no use left for you. Ooh. Dude, I wish I could like body punch people like that. Yeah, the chance to climb the ranks is one of my boys. If you had taken that, you wouldn't have to die now. Hey, Yonada. Yes, sir. Figure out how we erase this trash. It's not fancy, but a live berry up in the mountains is probably easiest. Or we could melt him down with chemicals and just dump him in the river. No, leave a body. It's better if he's found. Down the line sends a message to Tojima's big on discipline. Tojo HQ will appreciate that. Yeah, alright. Bring it, you butts. Are you gonna try to live burial me? God damn, dude. Y'all be sucker punching, sucker kicking me. I'm tired of this shit. Really? Uh. Huh? <laughs> You're just gonna kill a family member? You just said you don't want to be part of it. Without the boss's permission? Are you high, kid? The boss has got nothing to do with this now. You just left the family. Yeah, yeah I did. Which means I can fight back. Right? That's what I was waiting to hear. Oh hell yeah. What? I pull out the big guns. Yeah, boy, let's go. I'm for cut his ass. You fucker. The fuck are you doing? He outranks you. You said I'm out of the thing. He doesn't rank shit. He outranks me. I'm a civilian now. You just said so yourself. Just like speed run out the out of the door. See you later. <laughs> You're free to come at me if you want, but I'm not gonna pull any punches. I love it. Lieutenant Kuze, it's a death wish. I'll kill this little shit. Yeah, we'll see about that. 
He's yours. Do whatever you like. Fucking Japanese Luigi over here. Hold it. I'm not done talking to you. I'm done with you. Besides, you're dying here. Look, you make it up to see me alive, and I'll hear what you have to say. <laughs> it's like a, it's like what's it called? Fuck, Bruce Lee movie is it? Fine, I'll be right there. Uh, what the hell is it called? It's gonna drive me nuts. I can't remember the name. It's the, the worst Bruce Lee movie because he's not even in it. He's only in it for like the last scene where he's fighting like Kareem Abdul Jabbar and all that. You ready, bitch? Anytime. Because he died. <laughs> Let's go. He died like during the filming, so they have to like get a stunt double to play him, and it's fucking hilarious. All right, Dojima family. I kind of want to like just whip out my gun. Can I do that? <laughs> just shoot them. And then I pull out my gun. I don't know how to use it. Uh, gun. Do I have it? How do I use it? Oh, I pistol whip people. That's so lame. There's obviously got to be a way to use this as a weapon, right? Whatever, it don't matter. Oh, STO that guy. Hell yeah, let's go. Give me this couch. Oh, I don't want it, apparently. It was B to pick things up, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. Ha ha ha! Couch cushions! There we go. That's what I want. You want to use as much weapons as possible. Bust some ass. Oh, you little bastard. Ow. Gimme... Give Gimme give the goddamn... Couch cushion. There we go. Oh, I missed the kick. That's embarrassing. We're, we're good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Give me this. Oh, you little bastard. Every time I'm about to swing it, I get hit. Oh, you missed the switch and music on his ass. There we go. <laughs> Eat it, nerd. Punch this guy in the stupid face. Oh, big time uppercut. What can I do with you? Can I pull you over here and beat you with the chair? Here, yeah, there we go. Later, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. More of you, eh? Oh, he's got a sword! I don't want none of that. You guys think you're so tough with your swords? I got one now. Suck it, nerd. Is this guy in here still? Yeah, there he is. Okay, there we go. Beat his ass. I love that headbutt. Brutal. Give me this, uh, what is this? A, an ashtray? Oh, I, I raised my toughness. Where am I supposed to go from here? Hello? Get rid of that, maybe? Uh, exit, okay. I'll take this with me. A uh, box of nails, yeah, alright. Quick time event! He tried to use the ashtray against me! That's what you get. Japanese Luigi? Oh, he's still alive? Alright. Ow. Miss Ashtray. Oh, I missed the grapple. It's alright. We're fine. Where's the bat? Where'd it go? There was a bat here a second ago, wasn't there? Okay, box of nails. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Embarrassing. There's gotta be a way to use that gun properly. Oh, alright. It's alright. Later. That's boot, yeah? More baddies. I should probably use one of those food things to get my health up. Probably a smart idea. It's only 2v1 two, two right now, so I'm not too worried. 
See ya, sucker. I feel like you should get help from beating people in fights. Whoa, look at big chungus. Ow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these. Uh, I need these to do health. Significant health boost. I have two of these. Okay, so I could probably use one of them then. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's better. <laughs> Alright, so this guy seems like a dodge. No, I want to switch my ability. There we go. I can do that. All right, just get out of the way. <laughs> Come back. Wow. All right. Way to go, big chungus. You're still alive. The hell out of here. Oh, knee lift. Sweet chin music. <laughs> oh my god, that guy came out of nowhere. You got. You got some a stool? You can come at me with a stool? Ow. Ah? Where's that stool at? Oh, it's not it doesn't exist, okay. Oh Jesus. Oh there it is. Can I pick it up? No. Did I knock them all out? No, no, they're still alive. Yeah, shut up, ugly. Boom! Right through the door you go. What's up boys? Oh, there's nobody here. Let me grab this real quick, whatever this is. <laughs> this guy doesn't give up, man. He should. No, oh, the same animation as last time. That was kind of lame. We done here? No, you're still alive. Alright. Ow, ow. Oh, I missed him. I don't really like, like, I like the idea of Rush so far, like, I like the speed, but I don't see it as, like, a viable, like, attack. It just feels weird. Like, the Brawler feels, like, so much more OP. To me, anyways. Speaking of which, let's go into Brawler. Night night, boy! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Is he dead yet? Like, goddamn, dude. I got a stool. Who's ready to get stooled on? This way out. Can I see the boss? <laughs> oh, he tried to sneak attack me. Eh? Alright. I really wish there was a throw button. I'm sure there maybe there isn't when you get upgrade or something. But like right now, like I would love to throw someone down a flight of stairs. There you go. It's also weird that like some things are throwable and other things aren't. I don't quite get that. Oh, that's a dead end. So we're going through here. Damn. Blocked from the other side. Uh, hmm. <laughs> There's a window there. I don't see any other way. Guess I'll have to jump for it. Alright. <laughs> that would be so badass. <laughs> Sup, bros? Y'all pissing? Later. I hit that guy with the sweet shit music. I want to like swirly someone. Can I do that? Because that'd be great. I hate that there's like no down attack when they're lying on the ground. Like a stomp or something. Once again, could be an ability you get later, so who knows. Oh, I want to swirly somebody. How about you? Come here. Come there. Aw. <laughs> Not quite as swirly, but... Fuck someone up, at least. Oh, you're alive still? Get over here. Come to this. Uh-oh, there is a throw button. I saw it. It said B. But, I you know, just... I pressed the wrong button. It's alright. Oh my god, you're still alive, and you got a knife. 
Oh, wrong button. Ow. Boy. You knock it off. Oh, yeah, SEO. All right. Oh, please tell me I can throw him out the window. Oh my god, would that make my day? Bam, bam, bam! Headbutt! Do some big time damage on him. I just keep grappling him, why not? Like at this point, like. That's. Well, that, that hurts, man. That is not comfortable. No, 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 no. What? Okay, whatever. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Sit your ass down, ugly. Get back up. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Big boot across the head. There you go. Pimp smack his ass. Throw him out the window. All right, on. Bust his face in a urinal, that's pretty good too. Now throw him out the window. <laughs> yes! Drop kick! Oh, see you later, man! <laughs> what a mad lad. Love it. Watch him come back. He's at the door when I come out. You gonna kill me that easy? I'll never die. That would honestly make me laugh a lot if that happens. I'm expecting bad guys. That's why I got this sofa. Because <laughs> I don't know. In case I need to take a seat. Huff. Huff. I don't think I really needed to have subtitles for Huff Huff, but <laughs> thanks game. So I just killed like 800 of your guys. Looks like you could actually back up that big mouth here. It's not bad. I gotta fight you now, don't I? Because Ama scouted himself a solid kid. If I met you back when I was boxing, I'd have offered you to be your promoter. Kuze, talk before I break your jaw. Who's the one behind the empty lot hit? Where are you hiding him? Now, don't get ahead of yourself, Junior. So call me Junior. <laughs> oh, great. I got boxes, dude, don't I? Yeah, sick tats, bro. I think those idiots downstairs might have given you the wrong idea. You don't screw with the Dojima family, Kiru. Yeah, this dude's ripped, man. Hey, I'm gonna serve your ass myself. I'm gonna enjoy it. And we'll see about that. Done with your little speech? <laughs> Let's go already. I love this guy. Alright, fine. I'll come to you. There we go. Y'all ready for this? Toshi, my family turn into Tojo clan. Dasaki Kazue. Before I do anything, let me, uh, charges up your health and heat a little. Well, let's go ahead and use that. And, uh, anything else? Anyone you need a little health boost? Perfect when you're assuming health boost. Your health and heat dramatically, heat and health. I was just seeing if anything did, like, maybe stronger, but it doesn't seem like that. So, I think we're all right. Ooh, baby, eh? STO. Sit your ass down. So far, so good. He's got flaming fist of fury, though. I don't like that. And he can kick me while I'm down. That's not fair. I don't have that ability. This is where I would like to use my... Uh, Oh, he's got like double health bar, doesn't he? God damn it. Uh, might be better to use the rush on him, I think. 
Just so I could move around quicker and lock in on them. Yeah, it seems to be. Seems to be working pretty well. Doesn't hit as hard, unfortunately, but. <coughs> I can't remember, excuse me, by the way. I didn't mean to cough in your ears, but. I can't remember what, like, the rush, like, bars do. I'm sure there's, like, a thing somewhere that would tell me. Ooh, baby. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh. Use one of these bad boys. Get our health back. Give me the gun. Actually, you know what? Let's use... This self nice tool can sound enemies with electricity discharge from its tips. I don't know how to use it, though. Let's go ahead and use the rest of this fucking lightsaber. Deal a little extra damage, eh? There you go. <laughs> hey, you don't like that, do you? You don't like when I have a lightsaber. There you go. Then uh, I will... I don't know if I can like, recharge the lightsaber. I want to use this giant fish. Because it just seems hilarious to me. <laughs> Marlin cannon, dude. How do I use a gun? Like how it's supposed to be used, though. That's what I'm confused about. Maybe it's like a different ability you get later. Because, like... Uh... No, 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 no. Go back to Marlin Cannon. I got a brawler. Uh, then bring it out, maybe? Maybe it's the B button? Ow, stop. No, oh, B button's kicks. <laughs> I'm just gonna do these kicks then, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. What is it? What's it supposed to be? Like, how do you. It's gotta be ability you get later in the game to, like, shoot things. Because I can't, I can't figure it out for the life of me right now. I'm gonna use this fan then. Oh, yeah, I got the big festival fan, baby. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting a quick time event. Get up. This is how we do OnlyFans in Japan. <laughs> uh, oh, I missed. This thing's so slow. <laughs> Alright. Punch him in the face a bunch. I'm gonna have to use my uh, my health soon, I think. STO. I want to use like one of these bars properly. There we go. Bam, boom, bam, bitch, slam. Do some damage there. Can I grab anything up here? No. Okay. I gotta just take a look. I gotta watch my health here. I gotta play it smart. Just don't want don't want to die. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play it smart right now. Uh, let's use this one. Oh, I didn't get my health. Oops, I thought that also gave health. It, d it did not, just teat. Um. I'm gonna use both of these, I guess. I think I should be okay with that, hopefully. Oh, how'd I miss him? God damn it, dude. He's, he's annoying. Get up. How did I? Oh, how did he reverse my like abilities? I don't get how he does that. Whatever. Let's go back to uh, Quick Boy because this shit ain't working for me. Or don't. Just don't listen to me at all. Let me go back to my fighting stance. There you go. That's what I want. My rush. 
God damn, dude, this guy's tough as fuck. Oh my god, will you stop going down and get kicked in the side of the head? No, you don't want to don't want to do that. Okay. I got just a bit left. Full health. Does that make it count? It was something like I think Rush was like if he hits you, you hit him back or something, right? Like, but he's using power punches, so it doesn't really matter. This is all right. We got him in the corner. <laughs> we got him in the corner. The cheese maneuver, baby. Let's go. What you gonna do now? Stuck. Oh, he got out. <laughs> That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna get out of the corner. Damn, son. Oh, there we go. That was a nice punch to the face. I don't understand like the, the the rush at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. But whenever I seem to try to dodge or whatever, it doesn't work. Like, I understand you press A and it dodges out of the way. But oh, there you go. There you go. That's how you do that. Now, now we're fighting. Now we're fighting. Back in the corner. Get your ass back in there. How did I miss all those punches? That made no sense. All right, later, bitch. Or not? Hit me with like a super power up move. God damn it! Will you switch to brawler? Thank you. No, I want to finish him. There you go. <laughs> Little hook. Lame way to win, but we beat him. You bastard. No, you. Well, look who it is. Japanese Joe Pesci. Brothers, give me a hand here. Take this little punk out. No, they're good. They don't like you. Seriously, this guy's Japanese Joe Pesci. Ugh. Here comes the big dog. He's going to be like, you set this motherfucker up? I don't think so. Nice threads. Boss. Dojima. Dojima, sir. So he Dojima. He's the main, the main boy. Wasn't this a one on one thing, Kuze? I don't have a Dojima lieutenant that's making goddamn asses of themselves. Yeah, especially when they get their ass beat in this entire clan. You're no Kazama, I'll tell you that. But, boss, it was the captain that took this kid in. This is him, Kazuma Kiru. So, I heard you wasted a guy on a collections run. Nah, wasn't me. You sound like a fucking moron. <laughs> Came to see you about that incident, sir. I swear to you that I didn't kill that man. But I understand that even just being a suspect brings the family unwanted attention. So please. Expel me from the family. You think that's gonna fly, bitch? <laughs> I'll take care of this one, boss. He won't make any more trouble for you. Oh, really? You're gonna murder a civilian. <laughs> you decided on your own to like cure out of the family, didn't you? Oh, he pissed. That's not, sir. I did it. Please, God. Lying to the boss. That's bad form, bro. <laughs> I wanna. I heard a lot of clear as well. He already left the family, so I don't need to participate or patriarch's permission to kill him. 
Something that, to that effect, wasn't it, Kuze? You rat bastards. Kuze. You plan on digging yourself even deeper? I wanted to be the captain. <laughs> Him in the head of the board. A little sushi board. Time for you to give your finger, bro. <laughs> now, brother. He's head of the Kendo clan. You know the drill. You love this accountability shit. Show us what kind of man you are. Yeah, man. God damn it! Ah! <laughs> you fucking watch close. I got the heebie jeebies from this. Do it. Do it. Mm, delicious. I feel like there'd be a lot more blood than that. <laughs> It'd be squirting everywhere. Well, add that to collection. Put that on my pillow tonight. The pinky fairy will come visit me. <laughs> Yeah, you need to go see the doctor, bro. Seems like a pretty uh, easy punishment. A lieutenant of the Dujima family gave you an answer, so I have to honor it. Kazuma Kira, as of today, you are expelled from the family. All right, Dojima, sir. Domo arigato. Thank you, sir. Tell me, Kira, why could you feel all this just to get kicked out? In order to prove that me and Kazama-san are innocent, sir. I'm not the one who killed that man. Kazama-san has nothing to do with any of this. But the man I collected from died in that lot. And that's made trouble for the family. That's on me, so I'm leaving the family to take responsibility for it. So please, sir, just leave Kazama-san out of this. It's about time for dinner. It's a random thing to say. Yes, sir. Dojima, sir. Just how do you intend to take responsibility for this now? I'll catch the one who really killed that guy. That'll prove me and Kazama's son are innocent. I see. You don't need to be. You don't need to bother. What? But the killer's still. We're the killers. The killer. Let the police sort that out. You're a civilian now. But I have to do this to make things right. Make things right. You're a civilian. Damn it! Get it through your head and stop whining. You admit you screwed up this time, right? Yes, sir. At the very least, if I hadn't done it at that spot, all this might have been avoided. So you asked to be expelled. Yes, sir. Well, relax. I'll make sure responsibility is taken. Sir? You screwed up made it hard for us to get that land, Kiru. And it was Kazama's that brought you in. Accountability falls on him. It wasn't my fault. You were a Yakuza until a minute ago. You understand the logic, right? Sir? There's no coming back once you're out of the Yakuza. I suggest you find a nice little job and live a nice little life. Or, you know, I could be, like, sneaky spy man. Go around beating up all your guys. Since it worked pretty well for me this time. 
What now? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I don't know, man. Probably shouldn't have left the Yakuza. 11.28 p.m. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm a little bit sleepy. Oh, those are nice kicks. <laughs> Why? Just start crying in the rain again. <laughs> this guy's like, that guy's having a hard day. That guy's got better kicks. Look at that. Can you stand, mysterious man? You catch a cold, you stay down there. My name is Tachibana. Tachibana. I'm aware of your present circumstances. I've... I've been waiting to meet you. We waited a long while, actually. I have a moment of your time. Kiru Kazuma-san. This little pretty little guy. A Final Fantasy looking motherfucker. <laughs> Chapter 1. Bound by Oath. Completion bonus of 1 million yen earned. Hell yeah, boy. Let's go. We got 11 million yen now. Tasty stuff. Chapter 2. The Real Estate Broker in the Shadows. a nice place you got, boy. We're taking a shower? Sounds like it. Sounds like some sort of running water in the background. This guy's got sick hair, man. Jealous. Seems a little weird. You know, some random guy on the street comes up to you, says he's been watching you for a while, invites you up to his, like, hotel room. It's like, oh yeah, go, go take a shower, boy. <laughs> I'll be waiting out here. A little odd. I see me, I have not eaten. You are welcome to join me if you like. Hells yeah, I'll join. Sorry, I don't have much appetite. You're never eating, boy. This guy's a freaking, uh, not big on taking food from strangers, so, okay. Yeah, my assurance, I'm no threat to you, Kira-san. Please, make yourself at home. Just eat the food. Food is good. Where are my clothes? Good question. They were in need of cleaning, so I took the liberty. I will have them back to you momentarily. This boy's gonna try to touch my butt, man. Tachibasan, was it? Yeah. That's correct. Please, be at ease. I'm a civilian. Operate a real estate business, Kamarucho. Oh, what does a real estate guy want with me? That plot of land? Are you certain you won't eat? It's good food. It's McDonald's. <laughs> I swear this guy's gonna make love to me. Sweet, sweet love. With that, what's he got? A fake hand? Michael Jackson? Japanese Michael Jackson? Right hand is prosthetic. Yep, look at that. Please excuse my table manners. I lost it years ago, and now it aches in the cold months. A curious thing. I feel it throbbing, down to the fingertips, even though it's gone. Pain colors have no effect. So I simply live with the pain in time, grimacing, but became tiresome, so I stopped. I don't recall asking. <laughs> Kiryu-san, are you familiar with the term? Uh, nope. Pseudo-danthium? If I pronounce that? Danthium? A, a botany term referring to a cluster of many flowers gathered to form a single large flower. If I nailed that pronunciation, I'll be impressed with myself. You're intimately, intimately acquainted with one in such flower as it is. What are you talking about? 
The sunflower, each large bloom, is in fact a collection of tiny flowers. Each petal is its own entity. A fitting name for a place where children gather. Was it Kazama-san who named the orphanage sunflower? Oh my god, try not to yell so much. Who are you? You and Nashiyama-san grew up as brothers at the Sunflower Orphanage. You have a woman named Sawa Sawamora Yumi-san as well. Sawamora Yumi-san. You and Nishi regarded Kazama-san as a father in time following his footsteps to join the Yakuza. Oh, you find yourself framed for murder, with Kazama-san facing the risk of expulsion as a result. That's enough! You proved your point. It's obvious you got quite the network to dig all that up. What I don't get is why. Why? What are you after? There's only one thing any real estate broker in this town is after. I want the empty lot. Told you. That place again. I would like for you to join me, Kira-san. Might as well. The Dojima family tenants acquire that empty lot because Amazon's expulsion is, is certainty. Duh. But if I can beat him to it, I can protect Kazama-san, and then there is also the matter of proving your innocence. The reach of my Kumarachu network is considerable. Join me, and you will have the means to bring the culprit to light. Why go to the effort of winning me over? What is it you're really after here? That ass. I like my clothes back. Tattoo bound us on. So you're rejecting my offer? It's too good to be convenient. In this town, that's when you have to be careful if you want to survive. I see. It would seem I was naive. Still, I have faith that you'll reconsider in time. For now, I would only ask is you accept my card. Yeah, alright. I'll have your clothes brought up immediately. If you'll excuse me. You didn't even eat your food, man. Dude, what a weird cutscene. <laughs> I'm for sure I was gonna get diddled. I should let Nishiki know I'm not dead yet. <laughs> He's probably still at the Kazama family office. Alright. Go to the Kazama family office! I kinda wanna just check out this... ...little Sega tech land. This seems interesting. <laughs> can I play the claw game? I absolutely can. Is that Pikachu? The heck? I'll insert a coin. Move claw left. Oh, that was way off. That was way off. <laughs> Whoops. That's a real we weird way of playing this. No. I think that's good. I think we'll get that. Grip it and rip it, boys. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Give me that little toy. Congratulations. We won a Pikachu. Chestnut the squirrel. Why are you guys always trying to fight me, man? I'm just out here enjoying my life. Oh, it's Yakuza. Okay. So I gotta deal with Yakuza thugs trying to beat me up every five seconds. That's great. Alright, idiot. Sit your ass down, ugly. Uh, night night. Where's the other guy at? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Eat my fists. Suck my butt. <laughs> Hit him with the throat. Drop him on his head. Get up. I want to try the drop kick. I can't remember how to do it though. I can't remember what button it was. Whatever. Night night. Fucking Yakuza. How did this happen? Because you're a bunch of punk ass busters. That's how it happened. Don't you know who the fuck I am? What's this guy want? You trying to get me to see these naked chicks? You got pocket tissues? What? Oh. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Thanks for the pocket tissues. I don't know what they're for, but thanks. Awfully, awfully nice. I can blow my nose whenever I need now. 
I kind of want to try this million yen vending machine, but I'm not going to. It seems like a waste of money. All right, let's go up in here. Maybe when I get more money, I will try it. Let's go speak to Nishiki. Nishiyama Sanama Majama, whatever his name is. He doesn't look happy. He's like, you better not come in here. <laughs> Kashiwagi san. Kiru. Kiru. You're okay. I can't believe you made it out of there alive. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, bro. Yeah, I'm not dead yet, anyway. But it's official now. I'm out of their Dojima family. Yeah? So Kazama san's in the clear, right? Nope. Not yet. The family intends to hold him accountable until I can prove I was set up. Well, that's not true at all. They didn't say that. But why? You're out of the organization now. I know. Still, this is a step forward. Now that I'm not Yakuza, I'm free to take actions. I'll pay Kuze a visit and make him hand over the killer. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, first we should go fill Kashawi sans in. Come on. No. I've been expelled from the Tojo clan. I can't be in the Kazama family office. You go tell him for me. Oh, come on, don't be like that. It's fine, come inside. No. <laughs> this is about me taking count accountability, Nishiki. Let me do the right, this right. Accountability for what, though? You didn't do anything. Fine. You're heading back to the apartment, then. I'll meet you there in a bit. You can fill me in on everything. Alright. Okay, see you later. Bye, boy. I should head home for tonight. From here, it'd be fastest to walk north through the hotel district. Okay. I will do just that. I might uh, go to the store real quick and see if I can buy some things. This guy is fucking huge. I'm assuming he's going to try to punch me in the face. Hey, you. Why are you so big? The other guy beat up. Is there a problem? Yeah. You seem to think you could just walk by me without a word? Well, yeah. Do I know you? This isn't your turf. Why should I have to tell you anything? I'm not here to chat. If you don't want to get hurt, you'll leave all the cash you got and get lost. <laughs> so this is a shakedown. You should pick your targets better. I don't have a single yen for chumps like you. And I guess we'll do this the hard way. Hope you're insured. Alright, big boy. You want to fight? Mr. Shakedown. Who's this random guy just running up on us? All right, big boy. <laughs> just large man. Holy fuck, did he just kill me? He hit me once. All right, what happens when you die in this game? That's a good question. You're strong, man. Hey, you're not half bad. I let you off the hook this time. What? I'm having trouble with somebody like you. I need to change my training regimen. Time to bump up the intensity, which is going to be expensive. If you want to save up that kind of money, I got some shaking down to do. Damn it. Get back here. Hey, you okay, man? Yeah. You just had the misfortune of meeting Hirora Igashira, Mr. Shakedown, they call him. Mr. Shakedown, yeah. Look after anybody that crosses his path and then he takes everything they've got. He seems like you could hold your own in a fight, but that guy's on a whole different level if he sets his sights on you and you run for it. He's definitely more than your average tough guy could, you could handle. Yeah, there you go. Still, I wish somebody would come along and beat all that stolen money out of him, though. What did he get uh, you to? Or what did he get you to? That's That doesn't make any sense. Damn right he did. Took my whole holiday bonus. I knew I should have made a beeline to the bank with it. You be careful too. Next time you're sitting on a stack of cash. Oh, and rumor has it, Yukashari is not only the Mr. Shakedown and that they aren't just Kamucha, uh, Kamarucha things. Stay sharp if you ever get out of town. Mr. Shakedown, huh? He was insanely tough. I probably haven't seen the last of him. Better keep my eyes peeled. If you use Mr. Shakedown about it, he'll take all the money you have. If you spot him in the streets, the safest tactic is to run away before he can rope you into fighting. If you can beat Mr. Shakedown, you reclaim all the money he's stolen from you. The amount he's carrying varies at different times. If you can take him down when he's especially flush with cash, you can make back more than what you lost. Okay, well, for one, did I lose all my money? I should just head home for tonight, yeah. Because that would suck. I had a lot of money on me. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. 
I think that was like a warning. The first one. What's up, girl? Talk to people 50 times. Hello. I have. Yeah, I still got all my money. Okay, that's good. Uh, these biscuits are probably a snack of money. I don't know. If, um. I'm not sure what the food does in this game. I still have no idea. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comment section. Uh, we'll buy a little a little health boost here. We'll buy like 10 of these or something. Just be on the safe side. Oh, I can't buy more things? Ooh, my friendship went up there. Thank you for shopping with us. Oh, sub store. You seem a little tense. I just started working here, so... I guess it takes a while to get used to it and learn about all the different pro uh, products. Well, good luck. Thank, thank you, sir. You're much kinder than you look. I am? What kind of look do I have, then? Um, uh, I'm sorry. Hmm, don't worry about it. It's fine. My name is Miho. If you come here often, we'll be seeing each other a lot, so I thought I should introduce myself. Nice to meet you, Miho. I'm Kiru. Oh, okay. That was a sub story. <laughs> This could be the beginning of a friendship with Mio. Interacting with her will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of the gauge at any time in the pause menu. Is completion list. Build a friendship with Mio and see what ha see what happens. Yeah, all right. I'll see what happens. All right. I'm going back in because I need to buy more things. <laughs> is there anything else I can interact with in here? Like this other guy? Is he working? I can't interact with him. He's not a cute, cute girl. So you're not allowed to speak to him. Yeah, I wanted to buy more things. I didn't realize it was going to kick me out of the store. Uh... Is this both? Yeah, okay, so we'll buy like... I can only buy three of these at a time? Weird. Maybe it's because you, so you can't like... Spam. I think we're shopping with us, yeah, no problem. I'm just curious now. You know, can I buy more things or it's only like certain things like a amount a day? Can't care, can't care anymore, okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, I'm gonna head home then. I'm gonna get more tissues from this guy while I'm here, why not? <laughs> I don't have any space for the pocket tissues. How do I sell? How do I sell these plates? Like, where do I go to sell these? That's what I'd like to know. These plates that I have on me right now. Right. I oh the the pawn shop, right? Yeah, that's that's the place. Where's the closest pawn shop? Uh, it's a drugstore. All the way down there. Is there one like close to my house by any chance? No, convenience store. So I'd have to go all the way down here to the pawn shop. Alright, so we'll jump into this pawn shop real quick. And we'll sell all these plates on us. Get some money. Some quick cash. Because we could definitely use it. Hello, what can I do for you? Let me sell some things. Please and thank you. What are you looking to sell? Everything. I'm looking to sell my gold plate, thanks, and my, and my platinum plate, and my diamond plate, which gives me a hundred million yen. Holy fuck. And uh, my chestnut squirrel doll. Why not? <laughs> there you go. I just made a bunch of money. <laughs> uh, what do you have to buy while I'm here? Anything good? Just those shirt, shirts and stuff, eh? Yeah, from last time? Okay, I just wanted to check. Right, bye. Thanks. Thanks for giving me all the money. This is where I walk into What's-His-Face and he takes all my cash, dude. Oh my god, imagine. He's just like, hey, buddy! <laughs> Heard you got 100 million yen on you. What's going on here? Hmm. You better not show up. I'd be so upset. What's this line for? Another sub story. It could be something serious. I should ask around. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, little boy? Oi. Hey, kid. Oh, yes. What's going on with all these people here? Um, did you want one too? I'm really sorry, but they said I'd get the last one in stock. What are you talking about? Huh? Aren't you lining up for the Era Q3? Aurora Q3? Is that some kind of secret code? Nah. It's Era Q3. The newest game in that Era Q series. Era Q3 is short for Era Crew 3, Quest of the Quantum Quill. I can't wait to read the instructions manual on the way home. Never heard of it, so people are actually allowed to buy a video game. What an amazing world we live in. Yeah, it's the most popular game in Japan right now. 
I went looking for a pop-up, but when we were sold out, they were, uh, they were sold everywhere. But then my friend told me this place was getting a new be- batch today. I'm new beach. So I grabbed my allowance and ran all the way here. I made it just in time and got the last reservation ticket. I'm so happy. I'm going to be the best game ever. It's going to be the best game ever made. Get out of line, kid. It's mine. Times are strange if it's this hard to buy a toy. Sorry to bug you, kid. Thanks for the info. Yep. Bye, mister. What about you? Are you doing the same thing? I snuck off from work for this. If a manager finds out before I get back, I'm so dead. Uh, am I talking to the same guy here? There you go. No cut in line, pal. You have to play by the rules and get in the back of the line like everyone else. That's what you think. I'm so glad I lined up uh, first thing in the morning. I'm going to be the first to get in. As I just walk inside. Yeah. Fuck the rules. What's up, bro? I'm gonna buy your entire Don stock. Quixote. Welcome to Don Quixote. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it's called. Can you show me what you have? Of course. Oh, you got you got the good shit in here, eh? All right. Seven up. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Lumber could be useful for all sorts of things. Just random lumber. Gentleman's umbrella. I kind of want to just buy this gentleman's umbrella. Binding. Baseball shirt. Protective amulet. Uh, comfy soles. If you try these inner soles yourself, you understand how comfortable they are. High speed battery. There's a bunch of shit in here. High capacity battery. And this is like for like cars and stuff, isn't it? Soft tire. Spike tire. You know, why not? It's about no 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 one of these 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 I'm gonna buy a comfy sole I'll buy a leather belt why not I'll buy the protective amulet I'll buy the baseball shirt I'll buy a binding I'll buy some table salt I'll buy the gentleman's umbrella I'll buy like five pieces of lumber I don't fucking know <laughs> this show me is a hefty price tag but it's perfect for parties I'll buy the gold champagne. You know, we'll buy a fucking can of Mountain Dew and 7 Up. And, uh, yeah. There you go, sir. Please come again. I'm not done yet, though. I want to I wanna sell. Uh, can I sell? Probably not, eh? Because I was going to buy, like, your good shit, but if I can't sell it. And I'll go back to the other storage cell and come back and then do that. Probably a good idea. Hmm? Isn't that... Hey, game over, loser. Oh man, they're stolen shit. <laughs> stolen, stealing. Hey, you're the kid who was lined up for that game, right? Did you manage to get it? Oh, m mister. What's the matter? Something wrong? Yes, yeah, my brand new video game. That guy yeah. stole it. What? Wait, you mean that kid's... That high school kid who just left? Uh-huh. He just ran up and yelled at me to hand it over. He took it. My ARQ3. It's been all morning waiting in line, too. I saved all my allowance for a really, really long time to get it. Now it's gone, Sniffle. Stealing from a little boy? That's really low. Hey, kid, what's your name? It's it's Akio. Akio, got it. Hang tight, Akio. I'll get your game back, huh? You will? So there's no need to cry. Mister, okay. I won't cry anymore. Good, that's showing some spine, little man. I like that. Leave it to me. Hey, thank you, mister. Yeah, I'm about to kick this fucking high schooler's ass. The high school delinquent ran off towards Pink Street with Akira's Akira game. Okay. Let's go kick his ass. But first, let me sell all my things. <laughs> Alright, let's go find this asshole and beat, beat him up. She made it's like the exclamation point, is my guess. Hey, ass clowns. Hmm. Isn't that. Later, freak. Gang Goomba. What, someone stole it from him? No fair. I've been defeated. <laughs> That's hilarious. No doubt about it. That's kids took Akio's game. Hey, you have that Akira game, don't you? No, that guy took it from me. What's it to you? My adventures came to an abrupt end, so leave me alone. No can do. I'll take back Akira you took from Akio. Era Q3? That's the last thing I want to hear about right now. Forget it. I'm going to grind your ashes for the experience. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Yeah! Alright. There you freaking dimwit. 
Let me just beat up a high school kid, no biggie. You grind my ass? I don't think so, ugly. Grind your ass. I gotta stop saying that when I'm talking about high school boys. <laughs> Sit your ass down, kid. I just killed the kid. He's dead. He's murdered. Yurg! Yurg indeed. Mister! Akio, I just caught the guy who took your Akira. Oh yeah, okay. Give Akio his Akira back. Look man, I don't have it. Give it up already if you don't want another beat and hand it over and get the job next time you want a video game. Uh, I told you, I don't have it. I got robbed by a better thief than me. <laughs> what? You were robbed too? Yeah. Jerk from the street gang busted out his dagger of uh, stealing and made me give it to him. This dagger of stealing? What is this, an RPG? A gang member? You mean that guy who was just here? Yeah, lame. I could be home leveling up by now, but my era Q3 is probably going to some dude who's not even a fan. Excuse me? Your era Q3. The era Q3 wasn't even yours. Ugh. You rob a little kid and then turn around and cry like a baby when you get mugged? How pathetic is that? You haven't learned your lesson yet. You want another class? <laughs> ah, no! I'm already out of life. Sorry, man. I'm out of here. My era Q3. Don't worry. Okay, I'll get back for you. I promise. Mister. Okay, I got it. So the kid who stole Akira's era Q3 had it stolen by some thug. Now that guy went off to where he stayed at Boulevard East. Alright. I'm just so worried about running into this fucking guy, man. <laughs> this big boy. I'm just keeping my eyes out for some giant. Hopefully he's like not like just around a corner. Hopefully he's like in the middle of the streets so you can see him. You know? Mm -hmm. Isn't that... <laughs> Low level IQ is a later loser. Damn it. It's just a uh, fish eats bigger fish type scenario. No doubt about it. That's the fuck it took you up. Now we're going to beat his ass. Hey, you're the guy who stole Akira from the kid who stole it from Akio, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, who the hell's Akio? I don't know. What if I did? I saw my chance and I took it. That was Akio then. No, you robbed the kid who robbed Akio of his Akira. I don't get it. <laughs> Forget it. Just give the Akira a cartridge you stole. Era Q3? Era Q3? I don't want to hear another word about Era Q3. I'm going to stomp you flat, Pops. Alright. Round two, Electric Boogaloo, baby. Go ahead and smash this guy into this wall. Night, night. I love that. That's great. Grr. Shit, looks like I'm the one who got stomped. Yeah, no shit. Mister! I just love this kid running out. Look at him run. Oh, God. Hey, Akio, I just caught the wannabe punk who stole your era. A-R-A. Era Q3 from the nearly high school. It gets harder to say every time. Um, okay, I don't get it, but that's great. All right. Give Akio his era cure. Era cure? Sorry, pal, but your game got pinched. I'm not playing around. Give the kid the game or you can suffer more. I'm serious. I'm really gone. Some a-hole got the jump on me. What? You were robbed too? Uh, yeah, this is a uh, hard ass Yakuza type. Held me at gunpoint, forced me to give it to him, then he took off. Yakuza type? You mean that guy who was just here? God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna end up fighting the fucking lead. Uh, the guy I beat up earlier. What's his face? Uh huh. What a shitty day I'm having the Yakuza guy jacked my Era Q3 and he's probably not even a fan. Your Era Q3? That game wasn't yours to begin with. Wah! <laughs> you steal from a kid, then cry like a little baby when you get mugged. I'm seeing a pathetic pattern here. This isn't getting through to you. How about we go another round? Wah! Nope. I'm good. I'm really sorry. My era Q3. <laughs> Don't worry, IQ. I promise I'll hunt it down for you. Mister. Okay, got it. All right. So the thug who took it is going to keep going. My head hurts. Yeah, my head hurts too, bro. Which way did he use this way? Okay. Where's that big man at? I'm so scared of finding him. He should be in here? Or somewhere around here? Where is he? There he is. Hey, bitch. Bwahaha, <laughs> you're finally mine, Era Q3. My quest is complete. Hey, that game you got there. What's that, fool? You're one of the losers who couldn't score Era Q3? That's some tough luck for you, see? <laughs> This Akira belongs to us. Wahaha. If you want to, to live, get off my street and listen. Don't bother looking for a place that's still selling Eric. You should just find a fool who bought one and, and take it. Villains, every last one. What's this world coming to? Boah? What did you say, boy? 
That Akira, I'm taking it back. What's that? Take it back? Don't act like it was your game to start with. Boy, shut up. It's complicated. Oh, I see your Eric 300 too. Then playtime's over. I'm, I'm holding back either. Welcome to your doom. This guy's got a gun. Hopefully it's like not like a one-shot death in this game. All right, ass clown. Couple punches to your face. Nice headbutt. Knock you down to the mat. Oh yeah, oh, I pistol whipped my ass, eh? All right. Oh yeah, you got me. No, 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 no. He shot me in the ribs. I gotta watch out, I'm losing my health pretty quickly here. Can't have none of that. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah, he's got a broken neck. No, this cannot be. I'll be taking the air key too with me. Well, hold on, please. I need that. Give it back. Come on. Give it back. There's no reason to begin with. Fella, I'm begging you, please. My little boy has really been looking forward to it. Did I just beat his dad up? Your son. Oh uh, yeah, my old lady left me and took the boy with her. He's been wanting Eric Ethier ever since he read about it. We went looking everywhere, but there ain't none for sale anywhere. I just wanted my boy to be happy, fella. I'm begging here. You gotta let me have it, please. I got the picture now, sorry, but I can't do that. You probably don't know this, but a little kid saved up his allowance and went through a lot of trouble to buy it, uh, the last copy of Eric Ethier 3. Eh? I didn't stick up no little kid. I took it off some worthless goon. Uh. That's right. You got the game from a punk, but that game belonged to a little kid first. Long story short, he took Eric Ethier from a wannabe punk. He took it from a high school bully. He took it from the last the last boy in line who bought it in the first place. My head hurts just thinking about it, but all right. So that's what happens. And I came to get it back for the little kid. It's going to be to, it's going to back to its rifle. I'm sorry, fella. I'm the fool here. Give it back to the kid for me. Damn. I was about to make some someone else's kid cry for the sake of my own. What kind of monster have I become? thought I could make my boy happy with something I stole from someone else. I was wrong. <laughs> Look at this Yakuza guy. How am I supposed to be a good dad to my boy to Akio like this? Akio! <laughs> I guess you better think about it. Wait. Akio? What? Akio? Oh. Hi, mister. Perfect time, Akio. I just got your Eric Q3 back. Oh, really? Yippee, huh? Akio, it's you, my Akio. <laughs> oh, hi, Papa. <laughs> Trying not to cough and laugh at the same Papa. You guys are related? That's right. Are you friends with my Papa, mister? Yeah, we might say that, sure. Wait, buddy, that little kid you were telling me about, the Eric Q3, that was uh, what Akio bought with his own money, and I tried to. Seems to be how this thing is shaking out. But why? Akio, why don't you say anything to your Papa? All you have to do is ask. I couldn't have given you the money to buy the ARQ3 anytime. Because mom always gets mad at you, Pop, for spending money on golfing and go-karts and board games. And I didn't want mama to get mad at you even more for spending all your money again, Papa. So I tried to buy it all myself. Akio, mister. Papa looks kind of scary, but he's a really, really nice man once you get to know him. He took me to a bunch of game stores just the other day. Papa's not living with mama and me now. I think he's lonely, so please stay friends with him, okay? <laughs> Actually, Akio, your papa helped me get your ARQ3 back. Really? Thank you, papa. I did, in a way. <laughs> I don't see you crying again. Be careful going home with your game. Yep, got it. Thank you, mister. You're just going to run away from your dad? You're not going to walk with him? Mister, thanks. This is to apologize or to thank you for teaching this fool a lesson. Maybe whatever I want you to have it. You got a sunburst. Oh, hell yeah. Now, be a good dad all the time, not just in front of Akio. You don't want to do anything that'll make kids sad, no matter whose kids they are. <laughs> yep, you got that right. This game's so weird. Papa, this is too hard for me uh, by myself. Let's go to Mama's house and play our QC together. I need help with the maps. Oh, sure. My expert advice will be making a beeline to that Nash Demon Lord in no time. That's how a game should be played. Alright. Oh, there's Era Q Request. That was ridiculous. Anyways, uh, let me press start real quick. Uh, we should be able to upgrade pretty pretty well, I want to say. Uh, where do I go again to upgrade? That's a good freaking question. I do not remember. It's here, right? Abilities? Yeah, because I have a lot of money now, so I should be able to upgrade a lot. Uh, let's get this kick in here. Yeah. I didn't even have the kick unlocked. Look at me. I thought I had it. Didn't even have it unlocked. What else do we have? Boost cures maximum health. Hell yeah. That sounds like a great idea. It goes to all his battle styles too. I'm gonna boost his health to the to the to tops here. I got to since I have all this money. Yeah, I'm a little cheater. 
So at least after being knocked down, uh, when Kira gets up from the ground, press Y. This is more health. Now I'm going to extends the distance of your quick steps. That's a lot of money though. Uh, that's 30 million. That's a hundred million. I'm good with the health right now. I think that's fine. Mighty knee strike at least from a low stance. Hold Y. Uh, I already have this. It increases the power of your regular attacks and heat action when you use brawler style. I'm cool with that. Buy some of that goody. Heat gauge will rise when you taunt an enemy. <laughs> you can taunt enemies in this game. That's kind of funny. This is the rate that the heat gauge drops over time. What's this? This is the amount of heat loss when you take damage from enemy attack. We'll boost that. That seems like it could be an issue. Is this more health over here? This is the damage you take when thrown by an enemy. Okay. Uh, anything that's like really cool. Not really. I might as well get like the base stuff right now out of the way. The cheap stuff. Before it, you know, boosts up to the higher level stuff. Um, sure, why not? We'll boost this. The less damage I could take, the better, right? <laughs> we'll get this as well. What was this up here? He gauge will rise when you taunt the enemy. Okay, let me try the rush since we haven't put anything into rush yet. <coughs> so is this like an other health boost? Because it says applies to all of here's battle styles. So if I apply it again, does that mean my health goes up even higher? I'm just curious. I'm looking at the health gauge right now. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I could really like boost my health. A wise investment. Purchase 10 or more abilities. Okay. Increases the power of your regular attacks. Yep. That's a good idea. In case I need it, you know. Terminate the enemy to fill the heat gauge and frighten them. This the fright effect only works against certain weaker foes. Okay. Doesn't that doesn't sound very fun. Why would I want to scare people? Then you recover and perform an attack after you be knocked to the ground. There you go. That sounds like a good investment for this ability. Charge punch attack that can be unleashed from a rush combo, sure. Why not? What do we got over here? Uh, weave away from enemy during a rush combo. Yeah. Hold L and press A during the X attack. That's what I've been talking about. <laughs> Catch an enemy off guard with a straight punch to the body. RB then back on the stick and press Y. There's a lot of different fighting stances in this. It's kind of cool. Uh, so we'll just boost up everything before it hits like, you know, the, the really expensive shit. Another attack seed action. I'm going to keep Heat gauge is risen when you attack an enemy, sure. Yeah, just we'll put this in as well. I'm probably gonna use like brawler more though, I prefer that, so but now this is like, you know, better than where it was at before. Uh so we'll put the stuff into brawler, I think. I gotta see which tree I wanna go down though first. Put up your guard again right after an enemy breaks through it. The ability can only be used when calm on the first heat bar. Uh, hmm. Those are the guards, guard moves. They're a beautiful blow after performing a quick step. Move, yeah, the move is, and its power vary depending on the direction of the quick step. Okay. That sounds interesting. Uh, ferocious salt unleashed after being knocked down. And this is heat gauge. And that leads into boost the damage or your counterattacks while in heat mode. When your fist attack after the start of the battle sends an enemy flying, the heat gauge will fill to the third bar. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll put this on for now. At least 30,000. And then we'll uh, we'll keep 60. 60 million yen on us, I think. Probably a good idea. And I'm going to play with this. Why not? Is it 100 million yen? Or 10,000? It's only 10,000. Yeah, okay. Let's play this vending machine. Let's see what happens. We have the money now. Shit ton of money. You paid 10,000 yen. What do I get? 
Appstim XR. I don't know what the hell that is, but can I not buy another one? Am I like done? One and done type of deal? Alright, I'm gonna save the game real quick. Okay, so I do have storage. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. Uh, something's glowing on the ground. What is that? You got the Reno Many Me Type Card A. Okay. Creepy. Alright, so let's officially go to our apartment finally as I get an achievement here. I'm going the wrong way, so I want to go this way. I should be able to do a running drop kick whenever I want. <laughs> That'll be fun. Watch out for the big man. Yeah, shut up. I'm not fighting you guys. I'm tired of that shit. <laughs> they chasing. Those boys are chasing though. Ah, leave me be. Oh god damn it. Just keep running. It's the big man. No! Okay, he's going that way. We're fine. He's got 6 million yen on him. I'll fight him one day when I don't have a bunch of money on me. You know? I don't want to... I don't want to risk that. <laughs> Seems like a bad decision on my part. To fight him with all this money that I have on me. Alright, let's uh... Is this my house? You can travel to Kira's apartment from here. Okay. Call it a day, baby. Let's get inside. Not the, not the nicest looking apartment. Feels like I haven't been home in forever. Way too much has happened in the last couple of days. Oh, okay. We're like in a totally different area. We leave the city. I get it. How big is this area? Oh, it's not really a thing I could look at it. Okay. I'll zoom out. Yeah. Okay. Just, it is what it is. Am I up there? I'm up there. Right? Up these stairs. Do, 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 do. See what our digs looks like. I'm assuming we get to upgrade this eventually. I would guess. There's a lot of ramen in here. Ramen and booze. It's me, Kiru. I'm coming in. Alright. All I got is beer. That's not true. Please, you think I expect any different? I got like this sweet champagne on me too. Nishiki, did Kawashaki san say anything else? Nope, not a word. I see. But he started chowing down on his cold noodles like a man possessed after seeing you turn up alive. Up till then, he'd just been sitting there all intense, not saying a thing. Oh, he cares. <laughs> That's so him. That's so Raven. <laughs> ah, right? I go for some ramen right now. I had some story, but Kuze didn't think he'd be losing a pinky when he woke up this morning. Yeah, <laughs> goes to show you never know what the future holds. Yeah. A lot more is about to go down if any of uh, these three lieutenants get their hands on that empty lot, because Amasan's out of the family. I need to clear my own name, too. If the police get me in their sights, I'm done. Hmm, about that, Kiri. The president of Toko Credit turned up dead a few hours ago. Yeah, shocker. What? Big shocker. It's on the news. He was shot in his office. He sent you into the empty lot in Kuze's orders, right? Yep. Kuze must have wanted to keep that fact quiet. Kuze, really so easy for him to just murder someone. Yeah? It's his neck of the line here. That son of a bitch will do anything. So I think beating down his door and hoping he'll talk is probably a good way to wind up dead. There's gotta be a better way. Such as... Sorry, if there were an easy fix, we wouldn't be here racking our brains. Nishiki, you ever heard of Tachibana Real Estate? Hmm? Tachibana Real Estate? This guy Tachibana came and found me after I left Ojima headquarters. He wanted to help me, uh, to help him get the empty lot. He said he could help me prove my innocence too. Whoa, hold up, Kiro. I don't know these guys. What, now they're after the empty lot too? What's their story? For starters, they're not the sort of business that's got an office. I've only heard bits here and there, but they're like property acquisition specialists, homing in Komarucho. They take over real estate? Yeah, Komarucho's packed tight, end to end, with little bars and night spots, right? Most of them are run by various Tojo clan families, too. But somehow, Tachibana Real Estate came along and started poking holes in that iron wall. How do you mean, exactly? 
Any business they set their sights on is shuttered in days. The tenants cleared out. Doesn't matter how successful the place was, they're gone. Bribes, threats, harassment. They're more a Yakuza than the Yakuza. Whatever it takes to crush the business, then they scoop up the vacant property. They even go toe to toe with Toja Clan, mostly protecting a place without batting an eye. The game freeze? No, I'm just staring blankly at him. Real estate right now is an insane cash war. That means plenty of shitty business gets uh, attracted to the action. But Tachibana playing on another level. Even Tojo HQ is trying to shut them down. Seriously. Tells you how nasty they are. Although if you had them on your side, the things suddenly get interesting. Yeah, if they can be trusted, I still can't figure what Tachibana hopes to gain from winning me over. Alright, then tomorrow you and me can dig around for more info on Tachibana. It's worth investigating. No, I'll look into it alone. What? You and I work together, and we'll draw every eye in the Dojima family. I need to keep. I need you to keep your distance. Yeah, duh. Kiru. It's fine. I was prepared to do this myself when I decided to leave the family. Yeah. Shocker. All right, it's the next day. Can I go in my house and like change my clothes? Maybe Nishiki's right, and I should accept Tachibana's offer, but I need more to go on before I can trust him. I should hit him, uh, hit the town and see what I can find out about him. Gather info on Tachibana Real Estate. Yeah, I want to go inside, though, and see if I can change my clothes. And, like, whatnot. Like, what's the deal with this apartment? Can I do things in here? Can I bring ladies home? What the hell is going on? It's very hard to see what, where I'm walking to. Oh, this is a, this is a, this is a hole in the wall. It's just, uh, is that my bed? It's like a dog bed, man. I could do better than this. Nope, doesn't look like I could change. Or do anything in here, so I don't know why it would let me come back in. <laughs> you would assume there'd be a place where you could change your clothes, but whatever. Alright, well, let's uh, go back into town and uh, see what happens. All right, in the hotel district, we got that big boy running around, causing a ruckus. Uh, we don't have a mission, I don't think, at this very moment. Doesn't look like it, so uh, could go to the wildly popular disco club. Is this where the guy is that they were talking about? Um, Yoshida's battling center, the guy that like uh, was with the homeless guy? I'm going to go in there real quick. I just want to see what that's about. A little exploration, you know? See if I can learn some new techniques or something. Hey, what's up, bruh? Hello. Getting a high score, I can win you cool prizes. Would you like to see what the prizes we have? Sure. I don't know what the high score is. S rank, 32 points or more, steel shin guards, a metal bat. Okay. Oh, I didn't read the rest of that. I told the boss the offer an expensive prizes like these is going to ruin us, but he never listens to the staff. Go ahead and win them all. I'll show him. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, though, bro. Am I just supposed to beat people up? Like... It's 500,000 yen for the gold rush course. Do you want to play? Um, how do you play? What is it? <laughs> Press A with the right time to hit balls pitched by a pitching machine. Hit the target and win money. One target will be shown at the beginning. Hit it and you will be asked if you want to try the next one. Going to the next challenge gives you a chance to win even more money, but you can also stop there keeping your current winnings. The game ends if you miss the pitch. Ball or do not hit a target. In both cases, you will lose and all your winnings up to that point. Rainbow Color Super Hard Targets are very small moving targets. But can, what is this? It's just a fucking... No. I don't want to play this. Oh, it's batting center, not battling center. Oh, my idiot. The door. I'm going to hop in this door just to say hello, see if there's any cute girls working. <laughs> That's not a cute girl. Hello. I'm going to buy uh, I'm going to buy a club sandwich from you. Hope you don't mind. No, oh, we don't. We don't become friends, me and you. I'm only allowed to be friends with cute girls, apparently. All right, where the hell do I go? That is the question. I can't remember what my my uh, objective was, to be honest with you. So that doesn't help. But 
Oh, I know him. Yeah, you guys want to fight? Men in black. Here comes men in black. Ooh, yeah. I always gotta forget that there's a guard. Left bumper is the guard button. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I miss. It's all right. Oh, is that a water fountain? I don't know what that is. Pick that up. Standing Astra. Quite the opposite of a water fountain. But he's dead. Please, no more. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have tried to fight me, bitch. Racers wanted. Where, where is it saying this? I just keep seeing it, but... Hello? New pocket circuit. Racers wanted. Oh, my goodness. Want to have a race? I don't have a pocket racer. Hi there. How about some pocket circuit racing? We're looking for more people to join in. Pocket circuit? What's that? Race motorized model cars around a track. Everyone's doing it these days. Young and old. Cars are small enough to fit in your pocket. That's the name. Pocket sized race cars. Yeah. It's all the rage now. This is the pocket circuit stadium where the races are held. Sure. The Bluebird Cup. I'll win it. I have all the stuff for a car. Give it a try sometime. I'm sure you'll be hooked. Pocket circuit, huh? That could be fun. Maybe I'll stop by later. Or right now. How about that? Get in there. Let's race some cars. Oh, this looks fun as shit. <laughs> so this is the pocket circuit stadium. Looks like a popular spot. Looks like a spot where a grown ass adult should be hanging out. Ah, who do we have here? Is this your first time at the Pocket Circuit Stadium? Look at this guy! <laughs> this guy's fucking cool. This guy's decked out like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard this was uh, the new craze, so I came for a look. You're completely new to the slot car racing, huh? Nice to have some fresh blood. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm a pop Pocket Circuit Fighter. I handle registrations and race commentary. Commentary? For the races? Of course! Gets everyone real amped up. So what's your name, then? It's Kazuma Kiru. Well, buddy, I'll call you Kazuma Kun. Uh, Kazuma Kun? You don't mind if I call you that, right? We like to keep things formal around here so everyone's Kun or Chan. So Kazuma Kun it is. Hmm, okay. If you say so, I don't know what that means. You're a complete newbie when it comes to pocket circuit, huh? Yeah, but I heard a little bit uh, about it outside. You're race motorized, uh, motorized model cars, right? That's right. But racing them is only the beginning. Customizing cars is where it's real action's at. Customizing cars? Yeah. When you race after customizing your car with all sorts of components, it's super fun. You can buy components from the Pocket Circuit Stadium shop over there. I have components. You might find components around town, too. You can make your very own speed team in Kazuma Khan. Uh, okay, I get the gist. Sounds like there's more to this than meets the eye. I understand why it's so popular now. There are rumors of awesome components available at the high end dream machine vending machines, too. If you ever want to know more about Pocket Circuit, just say the word. I'm here to help. Okay. Got it all. Thanks for filling me in. Hope to see you back here. I'll be waiting. Pocket Circuit does sound pretty fun. I should ask Fighter more about it sometime. Or I should just, like, get myself a car and play the game? That's, you know, why I'm here. Yeah. Uh, it's a sub story. Hey, Kazuma Khan. Uh, right. Kazuma Khan. You decided to get Pocket Circuit a shot, huh? Yeah, it looks fun. Thought I'd try it out. Awesome. I'm glad you stopped by, Kazuma Khan. Having a new opponent to race really gets my competitive spirit going. Hmm, okay. To commemorate your Pocket Circuit debut, here's a car to get you started. You're giving it to me? Sure. It's all yours. Pocket Circuit has its fair share of grown up fans, but most races are kids. I'll be stoked to see people our age get involved, so I think of this as a little incentive. Hmm, well, can't say no to that. You got the Golem Tiger. Damn, that's a good, good car, too. You got slick tires. I got better tires. You got a power motor. I got a better power motor, too. You got a balanced frame. I'm pretty sure I got all this stuff. Regular gears. And a regular battery. You got red blaze. Is that like a little paint I could put on it? Let's have a race. I'll show you what a pocket circuit's all about. Sure, sounds good. And I could edit my car after the race, I assume. Okay, so uh, fast forward with the stick. B's to stabilize and Y's to boost. Okay. Ready? I don't know what... Let me introduce you to slot car racing. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, it's simple. Slot cars are placed in lanes, and the ones that finish with, uh, all the laps first wins. But you don't just stand there and watch. You can give your car a boost of speed, for example, by pressing Y. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's what I call speed, but the number of times you can boost your car is limited, and it makes it easy to fall out of lane. Just like that, your car's about to fall out. Press B rapidly to get it back on trap. There you go. Phew, that was close. Pressing B to save your car only works when you have energy in the top left gauge, though. Okay. So now you just race to the goal line. Feeling impatient, you can fast forward the race. Tilt left stick to, uh, right to fast forward. Oh, okay. Now that you can save a lot of time, huh? Oh, that'll give you more time for races. I have one. So that's it. You know all the basics now. Talk to me anytime if you need a refresher. Okay. What a weird thing. I should just about cover it. If there's anything else you want to know, just ask. We're about the same age, so I can tell you a few things from experience. Okay. You got the you got yeah you got to know Pocket Circuit Fighter. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check his gauge status anytime on the completions list. But your friendship with Pocket Circuit Fighter and see what happens. Okay, uh, can I edit my car? Like while I'm in here, or do I have to go somewhere to edit it? Let me talk to him again. Ximicon, uh, sign up for race five hundred dollars to enter. Uh, customize car. There we go. Customize your car until it's tuned to perfection. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, customize this bad boy, shall we? So, my spike tires are probably the best ones I have, or soft tires? Put the spike tires? Nope, my soft tires are the best ones I have. More grip. My frame. Is it not good to go overweight? I'm not sure. More speed, baby. Let's go. Better gears. I lose my top speed with that gear, but it's fine. Battery. Put that in. Side stabilizer. That doesn't really help. It gives me more weight. I don't know what it's supposed to do, though. There's cars when it starts to tilt to one side. That's fine. Decal, red blaze, yeah. Color, body color. I can change the color. I'll go, you know, hot rod style, man. Why not? There you go. That's my that's my hoopty. That's my whip right there. Actually, it's not all souped out because I want to see what these guys are selling. Then I'm gonna come back. Oh, I went the wrong way. I think I went the wrong way. Where the hell are they? I can't see because the stamp camera angle is so bad. Maybe I was going the right way. Now I'm going the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know. They're over here. Sup, boys? They're selling slot car parts here. Maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, you know, let's shop for parts. I have the money. This is what we have in stock. What would you like to buy? I'm going to buy everything, I think. That's it? Now buy it all then. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. I just want to see if that was it. It said press like Y for something, so I'm just curious to what that was. I think that was for my own inventory though. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he's got nothing. Okay, cool. Alright, now we'll check it out and we'll do one slot car race, I guess. Or maybe a couple, depending on how fast they go. Make sure we got the best car we possibly could have before we start, right? Uh, so we could have a bit more speed. We lose a lot of grip. A lot of grip. I'll keep the grip, I think. How much extra speed is it? Really not that much. It's like five... Five and one acceleration, so I'm cool with that. 
I think we might actually have the best stuff already. <laughs> we have a better motor? Nope. Gears? That's a big difference in speed, but not acceleration. I could go all the way up to 88 speed. Godspeed Gears Plus. No, oh, fuck it. We're gonna put those on. That's a pretty big difference in speed, so. Decal's fine, color's fine, alright. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's let's do a race, buddy. Enter a race. Everybody set? Alright, best of luck to me. Since, yeah, we'll do the first race, why why not? Oh, special zone, block curves. Oh, let's race. You're over the cost limit, so the race can't be started. What? No. Oh. Alright. I guess so that way you can't be a big old cheater, eh? Oh. I'm using what frame am I using right now? That's a one. That's a one. Godspeed motor. So I have to drop that down then. Am I good to am I good to race now with the speed motor? I guess so. Yeah. All right. Excuse me. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this game's ridiculous. The boss wreck continue in Kamarucho. Our remarkable Kazumakan is in the red lane. Is everyone on standby? Don't get late start. Let's get re this race started. Why am I going so slow? Do I have to tap B to go? Like, what? That's alright. Oh my god, I am murdering kids. I don't understand why I'm not moving, though. What is going on? It said, like, hold, like, the sticks. I'm. It's what I'm holding. I'm real confused to why I'm not moving. Okay, I think I figured it out. Apparently, like, you gotta have, like, a certain build for, like, it to work on a certain track and stuff like that. So I changed the tires out and it seems to be working fine now. So we're gonna try. See if it works this time. I don't think it said anything about building it properly for a thing. Uh, test the car's metal on the basic track. Yeah, okay. So let's see if it works this time. Everything should be good. So let's race. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> I'd be very upset if it doesn't go. I'm in the green lane this time. Alright, let's get the race started. I should go. I should move. There you go. Yeah, alright. Let's go, Golem Tiger, baby. Kick some butt. I'm fast as shit. I'm real fast. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't even a race. Apparently it was just the wheels. That's all the, all the difference I had to make was changing the wheels up. I'm gonna overlap some bitches. That and I assume the battery and whatnot. The battery might die. I have no idea. But... Uh, we seem to be pretty good. We seem to be pretty overpowered. So let's go ahead and hit the boost. And just, you know, really, really kill it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> There you go. Win the introductory race. There you go. Perfect. There, right, 41 seconds too. You should be able to. Uh, it's a new record. Hell yeah. I was gonna say you should be able to test it before you race. Make it a lot better. Like while you're like picking the track. That was some thrilling race in there, Kazumakan. Come back for another race soon. Yeah, why not? I'm here. I'll keep racing. Yeah, let's uh, let's enter the race. Sure. Hopefully, hopefully we don't fuck it up again. 
So we got the uh, Little Racers Cup. It's got a jump and a zigzag in it. Mm. Uh, I think we should be alright with this car for now. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Kick some butt. Didn't change anything. Power and speed. Zoom through it with confidence. Alright. Alright, big boy. Since termination of the challenger's last King Kazuma Khan emerged victorious here in the red lane this time. So everyone on standby, don't get late to start. Hey, right, we're to other places. Right, we'll see how this goes for us. We're a bit of a slow starter, but we got a real good top speed, apparently. These guys are really ahead of me, though. I'm a little bit worried. Might not have the build. Oh, no, no, we're starting to pick up some speed. Eh, I don't know, though. I think the build's not right for this one. Go ahead and just hit the speed burst and see if we can catch up to these guys. Because we're... Oh! Because we're real far back. Did I save it? Or did I fall out? I fell out, didn't I? Okay. So that's not the right build. Unfortunately. Alright, I'm going to try this again. I think, uh, I think I made a decent build. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it works, but... <laughs> I wish there was like a recommended like thing. Recommended for this this race, you know? But we'll see if it works. Made it a bit more stable, I wanna say, so we'll see how it goes. No guarantees. <laughs> I guess I could like technically look at what they have, eh? Alright, well it's a much closer start at the beginning. They're they're still kicking my ass though. They seem to have a, a better build still. So I'll try to use our speed burst here to try to get past them and hold the lead. Hopefully, we'll have to wait and see though. We're gonna be losing a lot. Yeah, they're already catching up to us. There's something on this build that I I don't know what it is. I thought I thought it was an okay build. I guess not. Oh, five of eight. I don't. I don't think I have another speed burst, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not gonna get past here. I don't have the top speed to catch up, unfortunately. I'm still on the track, which is a good thing, but the speed ain't there. I think the acceleration is something I don't need. The top speed is something I need. More speed. Alright, well, last place. Yeah, more speed is definitely something I need. I'm about to get. I'm about to get lapped. Rough. Rough. Oh! Ah, no! I thought we were gonna do it. Alright, last time. <laughs> For real. I slowed it down slightly. So we'll see. Actually, I have another build after this if it doesn't work. It's it's the battery I have in here right now, which is uh, real real powerful. So, but I switched out some of the I think it was the tires I switched out, which were giving me some extra speed, and I gave it more extra acceleration and dropped the speed. It seems to be, and it gave me more grip too. So it seems to be working. I get my my B button. I'm not gonna press boost because I know if I do, I'm flying off this goddamn track like easily. But it, it seems like we figured this one out, so that's a plus because we are murdering these kids with top speeds. <laughs> I'm gonna use a speed burst around this corner. Why not? <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> 46 seconds, not bad. I'll take it. It's a new record as well, so hell yeah, let's go. I am the Pocket Racer Champion. Not yet, but I'm getting there. Hell yeah, that was some thrilling racing there, Kazuma Khan. Come back for another race soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm back already. Trust. Hey, Kazuma Khan, yes, I, I do. I do want to enter the race. Yeah, let's get started. Everybody set? Alright, intermediate circuit. This is 11 lapper, so I changed the battery on this one for longer races. Or 12 lapper, I should say. This course knocks races right off the track. Everyone's taking precautions, right? I think so. I think I might be too quick.
to be honest with you. I think I made my car too fast, but we'll see. Chance of this course is a sharp curve. Let your guard down, you'll fly right off. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. I have okay, like, turning. The rival has an 8% victory rate in the pocket circuit. This will be one tough opponent, no doubt. I remember Kazumi Khan is in the green lane. All right, is anyone stand by? Let's get ready. Let's see. I feel like I'm going to start off real well and then fly off really terribly early. So we'll see what happens. Oh, I'm slower than most people. I got two boosts though. Let's see. I got I got a good top speed though, so I'm curious to see if we can catch up for top speed. It doesn't look like it though. Yeah, it looks like I'm having a lot of issues getting around those corners. Oh, the top speed's coming though. Look at that. Now we're catching up. The speed's the speed's coming. As long as I can stay within reach, I think we'll be all right. It's a long, a long race, remember. So, and we're and we're keeping it. <coughs> Look at that. First place. I'm a little bit worried to use the speed burst. I want to. I'm gonna use one right now. I think this is a good spot to use it. God damn it, I wasn't pressing the button as much as I want to. I might. No! Dude, why did I get stuck? Oh my god, that's awful. Fuck, I'm lucky that I jumped in and fly me off the ledge. Wow, alright. Alright, this might be the build right here, boys. I'm flying around these corners. That's the issue though. The fact that I'm flying around these corners might be going a little too fast. Yep. No, we're going out. Oh, did I keep it? Oh my god, how did I stay on lane? That's lucky. Uh, not this time though. RIP! Yeah, okay, top speed. That's what we'll fix. I'm gonna go flying off here in a second. Yeah, bye! Yeah, so it's top speed. All right, well that was fun. Uh, I'm gonna exit and probably call it a video there. I just spent probably like an hour, roughly, trying to beat one of those tracks and couldn't beat it. So we're gonna have to come back to that eventually uh, later, you know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Yakuza video. If you did, make sure to uh, leave a like, and I will catch you uh, next week with more or possibly another video throughout this week. Who knows? But until next time, here we go for life.